Welcome to Beholder's Eye, a 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons epic fantasy adventure. My name is Alex and I'll be your host and Dungeon Master. On the Great Isle, it is a time of religious wars, imperial domination, and an ancient evil reborn. Only one crew can save the world from utter destruction. They are... Magrain Silverbeard, Paladin of St. Delegis. Zalara Tremez, Wandering Elven Monk. Magnar Skorgrim, Goliath Sorcerer. Heavenlit, the Fire Kindled Wandering Flamosifer. Alright, who wants to let us know what happened last episode? I suppose it could be me, considering the bomb that was dropped. Uh, <laughs> so, last episode, uh, we started with uh, Margraine and Zalara. We were down in the bog area fighting some owlbears because, you know, Margraine's patron whatever that Zalara doesn't know about was needing to have something killed, I guess. Uh, so that happened and we ended up slaying a couple owlbears instead of freeing them and then got set upon by a dozen-ish people from the place that didn't want us breaking in to free the rest of the owlbears. So then we ran away after Margraine was able to calm them down, uh, magically speaking. And then uh, we got went back to the college, found Hibonite, who had been studying, and got a little bit of the rumor mill situation with the queen and with um, uh, the guy that was in the library. And so, oh, and the uh, we lear learned more about the Kenneth Pine. Um, so he that the re that they're researching and trying to figure out what what they can do as far as like bringing him to you know be potentially a cure maybe who knows and then uh we went to magnar's uh i guess it's going to be his house now oh man anyway magnar's uh place to go chat with him and then we all went to the castle to talk to the queen and tell her our plans and before we got to the queen we were stopped by adeline renard in the hallway where she uh requested a uh session i guess with uh, Zalara and then confused the crap out of Margraine some more because he has no idea why. And then we went and met with the queen and all agreed to go. And then Garen, that, that guy that was in the library before was with the queen and apparently gets to come with us because um, he knew uh, Badhava and Badhava recommended him to come help us since Magnar was staying. And then after we met with the queen and got all of our goodies for the road, uh, the uh, three initial boys got to go talk to uh, <laughs> uh, Brommel about uh, why he was so upset with them and found out that uh, they'd basically killed his his lover, his wife, his We whatever. didn't kill her. Well, <laughs> she was killed in your vicinity and that's why he doesn't like you. Um, and then Solara got a massive bomb dropped because her best best friend from her childhood who she saw killed in front of her during... Um, um, a, a raid on a castle um, that nobody else knows about uh, found out that she's alive and not only is she alive she was the reason that the raid went south and uh, the reason that Zalara can't go home is because of that whole situation and she is apparently the Sapphire Rose whatever that means. <clears throat> is that about everything? Oh, that sounds about right to me um, yeah I, and so I think the only other thing is she confirmed her involvement with Abernathy, uh, oh, her yes. being uh, Tamika, and also with Margraine's mother. Um, so, yeah, and we can pick it up right there. What do you mean you're the Sapphire Rose? Well, I am the Sapphire Rose. Uh, but it's the a whole giant criminal organization. How are you that? I've had plenty of time. As I've said, after I looked into the Chaos Realm, I knew what I had to do with my life. I knew that power here on Earth was the only thing that mattered. I've done nothing but orchestrate everything so I can be in this place. Not only as Adeline Renard, the head of the guild, but as the but, Sapphire Rose. Uh, but... Uh, uh, so so our, our childhood and, and the goddess and the tree and the, the life of this world doesn't mean anything anymore? It's just the power that you can get? And she lowers her head a little bit and says, Well, that's how I felt for these last many years. It's all I've been focused on. You don't understand the terror I saw in that chaos realm. You can't comprehend the absolute horror that was there and just how powerful it was. It overshadowed everything we saw. I have fought demons. I have fought Marat Hall. We, we can do this. We, we can claim this planet again. 
We can fight the chaos. Well, when I saw you again, and I had assumed you were dead, it brought up some memories for me. It, it made me realize that maybe there is something more to it. I'm in this position I am now, and I have no interest in leaving that. Let me be very clear. But there maybe is something to who I was before. So I know you're heading out near Sin Il Nur, out near our home. Yeah. Do, do, do you know anything about the Devil's Claw? And she just raises an eyebrow. No, I'm not. I'm not familiar with that exactly. I don't remember anything. My mom didn't. You know, my mom. She didn't. She didn't really like to talk about stuff like that. She wanted us to all be safe in our little house or whatever. Right. But 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 maybe you could help somehow. I I don't know what you can do. I'm not sure what I can do either. I'm not sure the details of your mission, other than you are, from what I've heard from my spies, heading out west. <sighs> I don't, um, well, well, you've seen the Chaos Realm. Maybe you'd believe me. Uh, uh, and at this point, Solar is debating if she trusts her once friend since that bombshell just happened with the finding out that she's been betrayed. Um, well, okay. The, the gist of it is that, uh, uh, the Marat Hall that I talked about that we were fighting, he's out there somewhere, we think, maybe. Mm. Um, we don't really know exactly what he's doing, but the last place we saw him, uh, there was this light, uh, this kind of creature that was being kept under the, the anvil of uh, St. Eligius's cathedral over in Kringle Falls. And I don't know how he did it. We were able to free the people, um, but they, they let this thing, and it was gorgeous. It was fire in the sky and scary and... It, maybe it was similar to the Chaos Realm. I don't know. Um, but it, it took off and flew across the land. And we think maybe it has something to do with Marat Hall, that he's freeing all of these pieces of a creature that could potentially bring ruin to the earth, to the land. I guess we're not the earth. Um, that could potentially bring gr ruin to the Great Isle. Hmm. And we're trying to stop it however we can. You see, so the queen feels that this threat from the west i guess we can call it is more important than the empire coming in is that what well, she's conveyed to you she's trying to cover all the fronts she can so she's basically employing us to cover this one uh, yes I, I knew there were rumors of the proposal from the emperor so i didn't know how she had decided yeah, on that I, I, we'll see what she does with that but hopefully we can help on that front I see. as well well of course, I want to help you in any way I can. My agents are everywhere, and from what they've told me, you must be careful on the road. Um, we generally don't take the roads when we can avoid it. Well, you must be careful out there regardless. It's chaos. Many of the smaller cities are not even cities. Uh, many of the smaller hamlets are being burned down. People are joining this army of, I'm assuming, this Marat Hall person. So be careful yeah. out there. Plus, there are many strange things that seem to be happen happening. People talk as if reality's breaking. I know that Tux Edge is in a state of siege at this point. I, I'd heard about that. Have you, do you know how that's going? I do not. Last I heard, my informants were trapped inside. They did get a message to me and I've not heard anything since. It's been over a week. <sighs> but, but if you do see anything along the way or hear anything, please do what you can to let me know. But the real reason I wanted to speak with you is she reaches into a pouch she has hanging from her belt and she pulls out a small pendant attached to a necklace. It's in the shape of a tree. It looks much, very much like the soul saplings that you're familiar seeing in Sin Il Nur. It's made out of silver though. And she says, this is something I made with my mother a long time ago. And I kept it even though I shunned that old life. Something I, I made with her, the same as those earrings you're wearing, you made with your father. Yeah. Something that's bind, bound us, it, uh, connects us, and I guess that's why I never, I always wanted to keep part of who I was previously. And seeing you just brought all those emotions back and made me remember that there are three people within me, not just two. And I need to reconnect with that third person. And I, I don't expect that they'll ever accept me back in. But if you could take this to my mother, and if you could take this to Idalan, and just let her know I'm alive. Do you you want to part with it? I mean, I don't want to. These are... I, I want her to know that I remember, and I am still alive, and she can do with that what she wants. I'd love to speak with her if she's open to it. 
and uh, I doubt here. she'll leave now. I doubt she will as well. But here, and she hands you an apple. And she says, if you get this to her, and it, she accepts it, take a bite out of the apple and throw it into the air. A messenger crow will fly back to me with the message. Okay. Now, now I know that I've done you wrong, so I'm asking you a favor in spite of that. What, what can I do for you at this point? Um, well... So, I don't know right now. Um, we... Can I consult with the others and get back to you? Yes, of course. Okay. Well, let me know if there's anything I can do. And Zalara, I, it is delight seeing you again. It really is. And I'm so sorry. I... I never expected to see you again. Nor I you. <laughs> and, uh, she embraces I, you. Yeah, I'll just hold on for a little bit. All right. So, we will cut to another room. And we see Dohava standing in front of a table. On the other side of the table is Garen. And she says, So Garen, the queen has many things um, she needs you to do while you're out there. As her agent, one of the main focuses that we're looking at is establishing contact with this group Sin Ilnur, the elven people out there. They seem to be very hidden. And from what we've heard, they're the only ones who haven't well, the only ones close to um, Tuck's Edge who have not reached out to them for any support. They have been a thorn in our side as far as our expansion westward into the western wildlands, and they've been one of the biggest issues with us expanding beyond Tuck's Edge. So this is a prime opportunity with the chaos that's going on, with Murat Hall being out there, with all the destruction, for us to forge an actual alliance and maybe see if we can establish at least diplomatic talks, if nothing else. So what we need, and we know the elf woman Zalara there is from Sin Ilnur, so we need you to make sure she is convinced to go there and get you in so you can speak with the people there. Do you have any questions for me? Well, I think with the state that this world is going, it shouldn't be too hard to convince someone to join forces. Oh, I very much agree. I don't see that being a problem. That being said, we need all the allies we can get along the way. Anyone, any group that you can find that will align with the Queen, we need that. We need their support. Um, the rumors are, at this point, that there are two of the Dukes. Duke Normia and Duke Antolin have fallen under this Red Hand influence. So, any chaos you can sow in that area, Oh, well, from what I've heard of this group that I'll be traveling with, they sow chaos everywhere. It should yes. be fun. <laughs> yes. But anything you can do, any information you can give us, anything to let us know, destroy their infrastructure, as it were, let us know where they really stand. Of course, the Duke Normia swears to us up and down of his allegiance, as does Antolin. But I know you will be traveling directly into Normia, so find out what you can and get back with us. And she hands you a coin. She said, this is a message coin. I'm assuming you know how these work? Of course. Great. So keep in touch with me. Let me know what's going on. Remember your mission. Get us all the allies you can. Sin Ilnur is our prime target, though. You will want to focus on the, the, the... I believe they are run by a council, from what I've heard. And I'm not sure much beyond that. So you will need to do what you can to charm this council and get them on your side. But make sure you're making friends with the elven woman out there. I'm sure she'll be able to let you know what's going on. Very well. Do you have any questions for me? Not at this time. When I do, I will be sure to reach out to you. She says, all right, bring yourself back in one piece. We shall see what fate has for me. Indeed. All right, so we will cut out to Magnar, Margraine, Garen, Zalara, and Hibonite all kind of converging out in the... I, I guess the the vestibule. So, if everybody's everybody's done, or uh, well done. Yeah, I I have things to talk to you about later. Yeah. Uh. Well. Okay. Perhaps not uh, here, though. Oh. 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 Okay. Okay. Well, so perhaps I should introduce myself. Yes. Yes. Um. Hello. <laughs> I'm uh. I'm Margraine Silverbeard, and I guess you'll be joining us on our travel. I will indeed. So I... how did you how did you know uh, Vadhava? Uh, I knew her from uh, our time traveling together. She was in a caravan full of sorcerers, and I was with my circus troupe. A circus troupe? Indeed. Oh, that's fun. What did you do with your circus troupe? I tamed the lions. I showed them off, 
I did magic tricks for the people. And as he says this, a small, a very miniature lion comes out of his cloak from behind his neck and just kind of is perched there on his shoulder. And this is Zena. She Zena? is not the type of lion I would have tamed, but uh, it is definitely her soul. She <laughs> she looked like this, but much bigger when she was alive. I've, I've <laughs> never seen a lion before. Wow. Would you like to pet her? She's quite tame. Uh, sure. Yeah, and Margaret will kind of reach up. Not oh, as yeah, high as he, he usually <laughs> has to because <laughs> he's been taller. Down, so. Yeah, but, um, and yeah, he'll, he'll, he'll pet her. All right, and as you go to pet, she lets out this roar, and it's super cute, but not very loud. So. <laughs> but she looks oh. very proud of herself. Huh, interesting. And I am Garen. I do not think I said that before. I have already met your red friend here. It's fantastic to meet you, Garen. Um... Well, yes, this is this is all of us, you know. Uh, I'm I'm Margraine and Margraine. Uh, Zalara here. Zalara. And yeah, yes, sorry. Uh, I'm Zalara of Tamez. Uh, and where did you hail from, Garen? Um, here and there. I guess maybe <laughs> I came from here. Maybe I came from there. I do not know. <laughs> You're not wit again, are you? <laughs> I don't anyway. know who that is. <laughs> I traveled along with the circus for most of my life, so uh, I count that as my home, which of course, it's a traveling circus. They move around I a see. lot. Yes, yes. Um, I, I got to see a circus once when I was when I was younger. They got to uh, visit Durnholm, and it was it was very interesting. Was it Kelso's fantastic caravan? Uh, I can't remember, honestly. Well, if it was, that was my caravan. I probably was not there, but... Ah, Depending okay. on how long ago it was, young dwarf. Uh, well, yes, it, it was quite a while ago, and I was I was very young. You know, I just remember all the the beautiful colors and all the performers and and men flipping about. And yes, it was oh a, yes, very interesting. It was a wonderful life. And and what has brought uh, you into the uh, the well, if I'm being quite honest, uh, the extremely dangerous predicament you've got yourself in of of having to join us on our quest. Many things, many things have brought me here. Okay, I will be honest. I would rather be back in the caravan, but fate has decided that I shall be with you for now. Yes, I I think uh, fate has decided a lot of things for us lately. Uh, yes, this is she very true. is very fickle. Yes. But wonderful most of the time. Yes. Well, you know, uh, Theos will protect us on our journey. and Ah, Theos. Yes, he he always does such a great job of protecting everything. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Rolls to detect sarcasm. Oh, you don't need a roll for that. I don't think that was pretty clear. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Margaret's not going to detect sarcasm. <laughs> yes, yes, he, he he does. Um, well, as you could see, I'm a I'm a, I'm a paladin of, of Saint Eligius. Um, mm. and at least not one of those green robes pricks. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, I can't fault you there. Yeah, they're pretty bad. Oh, and she's going to like reach in her pocket and just finger it. She's not going to pull it out right now, but she's remembering she has a necklace that needs to be looked at. Uh, yeah, okay. green robe people. Hmm. Indeed. You've had your encounters with them. Oh, you you, you know about that? <laughs> uh, yes. Well, I, I, do I? <laughs> I don't know. Did you talk to Vodhava about that? Oh, yeah, I guess I would. Yeah, of course. Well, I and the queen would have known. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Sorry. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, of course I know. Um, yeah. Uh, we, 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 we did meet, uh, St. Crowley's mm -hmm. back a little while ago. Um, it's a shame you did not kill that witch when you had the opportunity. Well, well, you know, we don't we don't have to uh, kill kill major uh, uh, church figures like that willy nilly. Um, that wasn't willy nilly, but anyway, we maybe shouldn't be discussing killing church figures in the middle of yeah yeah that, that would be wise yeah especially especially as um as you as you know my predicament Zalara mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm yeah we should okay. not ooh the plot thickens. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll tell you about it later. No worries. And you are Vadhava's lover. Yes, I am Magnar. Pleased to meet you. You as well. You looked very familiar. Have we met before? Uh, not that I know of. Very well, very well. Okay, so you guys um, have met your new companion. What are you looking to do right now? Well, we uh, have a lot to talk about. I, 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 well, I'd like to buy um, maybe some more healing potions uh, for our journey. I'd, I'd like to uh, maybe go check on, on Ildi before we leave the city. 
you know, make sure she's doing okay, you know, say goodbye to, to my family, you know. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. you know, and, and uh, obviously... And say goodbye to you as yeah, well. Yes, yes, and uh, we'll, we'll be leaving you here, Magnar, so maybe dinner or something, you know? Get the whole family together, everybody, everybody all at once, and... But not at Vodahava's house. No, 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 I, that, I maybe no. something in town. And... I, I will be spending too much time with them. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, that, With her. that's true. Um, so you know, maybe we can get everybody together before we leave. Uh, go to a go to an inn or something. You know, get my family and 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 all of us as family before we go. And yeah? not get attacked on the way home. Ah, uh, oh, well, I don't see why anybody in this town would attack us. You do remember. Solara what just, happened, just right? looks at you. <laughs> There's a long list of people who've been trying to kill us and everywhere we've been, Margaret. Yeah, but, you know, we're we're cool with Brommel now, you know? I know he still doesn't like us, but we don't have to worry about him sending Buddy to kill us. No, and Madam, Madam Granite. Yeah, so Madam Granite's tried to kill us already. Well, that's true. Yes, Madam Granite and the Sapphire Rose are still after us, right? Uh, of course. So... I have a note about the Sapphire Rose. We'll talk about that elsewhere. Huh? Okay. Not here. Got it. Also, don't okay. forget, it's not just Madam Granite, the uh, the sorcerer who attacked you, and the the people who shot you got away. Yeah. Um. Well, those were were Madam Presumably. Granite's people, weren't they? Or yeah, yeah. No, but I'm Presumably. saying it's not just like it's not just one lady. It's, it's not just one lady who now has to go hire some other people. There are literally people in the city who are trying to kill you. Yeah, it's true. My my sister literally died yesterday. So, um, okay. So perhaps we um drop Magnar off and gather our things that are still at his house. If we have anything there. Sure. Or horses, I guess. Yeah. But otherwise, uh, what would Delara need to go shopping for? Uh, uh, rope? Do we need more rope? You did lose your rope, your silk rope. Oh, that's right. We lost we lost our rope. Um, we can we can buy more rope. I'll buy more silk rope. Yeah, that sounds great. Because I don't have any <laughs> rope anymore. Zero rope. Bad situation to be in. Right? Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah, let's do it. Okay, so you guys walk back with Magnar, make plans to meet with the uh, family later. Um, would we want to go to the fizzy jug or would we like to find an inn with like, a, I don't know, do they have a party room? <laughs> uh, we could ask my family. They've been in town for a while or, okay. or Vodhava or Dohava or any of the, the nicer Havas. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, there's only two Havas, so they're both good. Yeah. yeah. Or, 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 uh, Garen. Garen could, uh, could tell us a good place in town if he's been here a while. I'm sure I could. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. He'll let you know there are, of course, there's the Fizzy Jug. You guys have been to April O'Shaughnessy's. Um, there's the Cravens, which is a little bit less of a step down. Um, there's Mardigan's, which is fairly nice. And Balroy's, which is um, also a, kind of a step down. That's that's Balroy's and Cravens are both on the hammer level, which is more the labor level. Um, but Mardigan's, and then of course the two places you've been already are on the market level. Okay, cool. And that's where your family is, anyways, right? Yeah, my family are on the market level. Okay. Cool. So yeah, we can do that. Um, I, April O'Shaughnessy's was pretty nice. So get more turtle soup with no cheese. <laughs> eh, it was okay. Yeah. Um, okay. Well. Well. I, if we're if we're going shopping, Margarine will go to the uh, the the church, the healing church that fleeced us to resurrect my sister, <laughs> um, <laughs> because they would be the ones who sell healing potions, right? Because the church right, controls the healing potion. Yep. Um, so Margarine will try and procure. Um, well, he'll see how much they want to charge him first before he has how many he procures. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, anybody else? I mean, are you guys going as a group? How are, you know, what is, what is Hibonite doing? What is Lara doing? What is Garen doing? We could probably just, um, I'd stick with the group. I don't, uh, okay. I mean, potentially just poke around and see if there's, I don't know, better weapons that she could get. Maybe like I don't do armor, so I can't go shopping for that, but yeah, maybe, I'm uh, sure. Um, here and I think done pretty much everything he wants from the city at the minute, apart from trying to get into the, those crystal towers, which I don't think we're going to get into at the moment. Okay. I'll just tag along Margaret, tag along with Margaret, make sure he doesn't okay. do anything silly. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you guys make your way to the market level again. Well, uh, first you stop off at the Temple of St. Peregrine once again, and um, you speak with a monk named Hark, who's a tiefling, and uh, he tells you, 
Oh, yes, uh, you were here yesterday, weren't you? Yes, 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 I was. Uh, we, is we, your we name needed... Margraine, is that right? Yes, I, I'm I'm Margraine Silverbeard. I'm, uh, as you can see, Paladin of St. Eligius. Oh, yes, yes. What 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 are you here for? Um, well, as you can tell with uh, the predicament we ended up in yesterday, um, sometimes we get ourselves in situations where I'm in need of potions of healing. Yes. So, um, and obviously, you know, this is the best place for, for me to procure them. Absolutely, yes. All right. So, yes, uh, how many are you looking for? Um, I was looking for about two potions of healing. Oh, yes, yes. Um... Uh... Of course, we can't ask for any money as an exchange for goods. Uh, oh, of, of course. I think a donation yes, would be in mind, though. Yeah. Oh, yes. A donation probably of a uh, hundred gold would, would suffice. A hundred gold? Of course. Yes. And actually, I, I know the bishop wanted to speak with you personally. Could you, uh, I don't know, would your friends mind waiting here? We just need to have a quick uh, matter of church. I hope you understand. But, uh, come with me. Uh, come with me, Margaret. Of, <laughs> of course. Oh. Uh. Would you mind if I tagged along? Yes. Uh, you're not a member of the church. <laughs> it's it's okay, Zilar. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, it's okay, you know. There's, there's nothing to fear from the church. <coughs> and so he leads mm-hmm. you through some corridors. And Can I have into- Hibonite turn me invisible and follow after? Mm-hmm. I do not trust them. Uh, well, we are, let's see, we are in the middle of a room, so <laughs> this is definitely going so to be going to sor- sorcery point just to make us both invisible and no one be able to stop us. I could do the sign for message and be like... I think, I think Hibber Knight would know what you're thinking at this point, because okay. I was just thinking the exact same thing. <laughs> So, I'm so Garen, spend... how do you respond? One person is taken off, and then the two other people behind him, who are part of your group, disappear. <clears throat> I will uh, wait here and see <laughs> what fun happens. <laughs> yeah, give me an arc- arcana check. All right. DC 8. Oh, well, as long as I don't get a 1. And that is Whew. a 19. Okay, so you know that they cast invi- invisibility on themselves. Um, it's pretty clear. And uh, did I see anybody see it? See them disappear? Like, did um, someone witness it? Let's just do a twenty-five percent chance here, and we'll say low for this. So, nope. <laughs> nice. Um, okay, so yeah, I rolled a thirty-two for those of you at home who are on the edge of your seats. So. <laughs> um, <laughs> You see them take Margraine back through some corridors. Uh, Margraine, they open a thick wooden door, and inside is a very opulent room. Um, uh, A lot of uh, gold-gilded desks and chairs and things of that nature. Extremely plush red pillows. Um... It's it's kind of like a you know looks like a something out of a 1980s Donald Trump photo op kind of thing, um, <laughs> and they're sitting in a very large plush chair is a overweight dragonborn wearing the robes of a bishop. Uh, he holds out his hand with his uh, ring on it and says, "Enter, my son." Oh, actually, uh, yes. can I send Zena to just go <laughs> snooping yeah. around? Yeah, just have her. Uh, do a stealth. Have, uh, so 16. Cool. Yeah, so you don't have to worry about her at all. And then I, I'll use my things, my familiar things, so I can hear and see through her eyes. So Awesome. So I'll plop down like I'm meditating, and because I can't do anything anyways. So. Right. Okay. <clears throat> um, okay. okay. And Sam doesn't know what's customary for meeting a, a, a bishop, really, that so, you, you know, don't intend you, to kill. Yeah, you take his ring, and um, okay, from his vestments, you can tell that he is a uh, like an archbishop. He's the same um, as Ulysses or Mother yeah. Caldona. That he leads exactly. this church, right? Okay. Right. So he's probably the highest in this area. Um, you know that the only person who would be higher than him is maybe a cardinal or two, and then of course the Grand Abbot himself is a member mm-hmm. of Saint Peregrine as well. So okay. Um, so he says, and, and the bishop is named, and you would just know this from being a member of the church, Saiten Dolgar. He's, uh, as I mentioned, I think before, a, a red dragonborn. Yep. Uh, yes, Father uh, Dolgar. So, Margraine, you have become infam- infamous throughout the church. Uh, I have? <laughs> Don't play coy with me. Uh, sorry. My son, yes. you know what you did. Uh, Mother Coldona was not quiet about it. I, I wouldn't assume she would be, but I don't think everybody has the right information. Do you understand what the consequences are? We could take your robes. We could take your armor. We could remove you from this church. Everything you are will be stripped. I, I understand. Do you? 
you understand how that would affect your family? Turn home primarily follows the teachings of St. Allegis. To have a defrocked son there, you understand that. And you I, understand that that is the way things are looking to be at this point. I, I do, but I don't think everybody knows the whole story. Are you saying the words of Mother Coldona are not correct? You're saying a mother in the church is lying? I, I'm saying uh, that while Mother Caldona might think she's acting in the best interests of the church, and while she may think that things are one way, that there is another side to the story which makes it not as bad as you think it is on my part. I'm not calling the mother a, a liar. I wouldn't, I wouldn't accuse her of that. Obviously, I don't know what she's been spreading about me, but I can assume and I, I think, you know, if, if everybody knew what had happened, that I would be exonerated. But I also know that I do have St. Eligius on my side in this matter. Hmm. I know what I did was right. Yes, but she has the entire Church of Theos behind her. You understand that? I've I spoken understand. with the Grand Abbot because I know sometimes emotions can come up. And when you do not have the full picture, as you do not, and let me be very clear, you do not you may act rashly. Now, word is that you've recently held an audience, not once, but twice with the Queen. Some say you are in her direct service at this point. Is that true? Yes. The Queen has uh, proposed a, a task for us, mm. and I think following it would be in the best interests of not only the Church, but basically the entire world. I know it sounds sounds rash, but uh, well, you being of such high station, I'm sure you're you're aware of all of the so-called demons that have been manifesting around the the lands and and this Marat Hall who's being unleashed. Yes. And I think I might know more about this than about certain aspects of this than even you might know in the church. Yes, well, and that is why we haven't arrested you at this point and taken you through the pass. Yes, but as I said... The Grand as I Abbot said, himself is aware of who you are now, Margraine. I've made... The Grand Abbot and Emperor Simon, who does nothing without the light of Theos, have a request for you directly. I see. There is this upstart group out west, the Red Hand. You know of them. Yes, I'm, I'm very well aware of the Red Hand. Um, I'm, I've been made aware that their, their leader is apparently, uh, reborn yes, after we yes. killed him. Heresy, of course. They say uh, it was Theos himself, not through any priest that he was raised. Complete I, and utter blasphemy. I, I wouldn't disagree with that. So, what the Grand Abbot and the Emperor ask of you at this stage is to use your influence with the Queen to batten down the church's power here in Thelmer, to not let this upstart group come up and rise. Yes, protect the Western Frontier, fight this Marat Hall, and as you gain power in her eyes, as you gain station in her eyes, make sure you're doing what is in the church's favor. Make sure that this proposal that is on the table, she sees as something as beneficial, and she understands that Theos himself has blessed this and demands it of her. Is this something you can do? Yes, this is something I can do. Uh, that fills me with joy. I had no desire to slay you today. And I have no desire to go against the church. You are truly in the light of Theos. Be blessed, my son. Thank you. So, I'm going to have... You guys did not make it into the room with him. Okay. Give me a perception roll, everybody. I was just wondering if we were in the room. Eight. 26. Uh, 14. Okay, so Garen through. Oh, and, and you two invisible people are standing there, and then you see suddenly that little lion comes up next to you, not not you know seeing you, but she comes up next to you, and you see her put her little her little lion ear against the door. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Garen through Zena and Zalara through your own ears, you both heard everything that was said. Hibonite, mm -hmm. you heard some some of it, but you really. You know, you didn't you didn't get a lot of it. You were really distracted by the little lion kitty that came up. <laughs> kitty. And and so you you missed it. You know he was talking to a bishop, but that's about all you got. So, Margraine, you exit and Hark is there. He comes up next to your invisible friends that you don't know they're there. And <laughs> he has a sack. He says, Here are five healing potions for you. The bishop said that I should just give them to you. Oh, that what you're doing for the church is better, is a stronger donation than anything else. 
Thank you. Uh, yes, yes, it was a very enlightening talk I had with the with the bishop. Uh, yes. Come this way, my brother. I, I'm so glad to see you well. How is your sister? Uh, she, is, she is well. Um, obviously a little bit shaken. Yes. But uh, well nonetheless. I see. Wonderful. All right, so how are you? You guys, are, I guess, are following him back, but uh, you're invisible. How, how are you guys doing this? I'm... Because he's going to mm. come back and see Garen meditating in the middle of the floor of this cathedral. Um, so I think in the end, Zalara is ultimately okay with what just happened because the Red Hand are dead to her anyway. So she's not pleased with the way it went about, but I think she'll just follow Margraine. Okay, so I mean, but I'm just saying the logistics of what you're doing right now, not, not based Margaret. off of that. Okay, H- Hypnotic's gonna go outside. Well, okay. yeah, I'm not going to slip in and try to kill the bishop, so there's that. <laughs> <laughs> I will be following Margraine and not doing that. Okay. Oh, I'm glad you didn't. I didn't even think of that as a, we'd have to stop so I could build the bishop. That would have <laughs> <laughs> I don't take well to my family being threatened. Count. Okay. So you come out and see Garen there meditating. You see his little lion come up and jump into his lap. And Garen, uh, you're, you're back into reality again. Uh, well, I guess you're Garen. in reality before, but you know what I mean? <laughs> Garen. Uh, uh, you don't see your friends, though. Uh, where, uh, where are the others? They are about. I, I see. Uh, so is there somewhere where we're going to go meet up with them or? Perhaps outside. Okay, okay. Um, is there anything you'd like to do here in the in the church or? I never have anything to do in the church. I I see. Okay. <laughs> um. Well, I'll be off if you wanna come with me. Of course. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I he gets I, up and cool. walks out. So. Awesome. Um. I I have I actually have something for you, and he's he's gonna give you uh, a potion of healing. Ah. Thank um, you. You did not have to do that. Oh but no. I it, appreciate it. it. No, it's okay. It's okay. You know, I'm here to make sure people are are protected and and safe. And you know, I found at least in the last couple of months that there's nothing that's kept me uh, more safe than healing potions. Indeed. So. And yet you have died. Um. Uh, yes. But I you imagine know. a healing potion would help with that. Not with death. No. So but. as we're walking out the door, Zalara is gonna punch it to turn visible. Just <laughs> as she's getting outside. Okay, cool. Oh, Zalara, hi. <laughs> uh, hello. That was quite the meeting you had. Uh, yeah, it, it was, but, you know, everything's cleared up now, so no worries with the church. <laughs> Let's hope it stays that way. Yeah, you know, um, as, as I told you before, you know, my, my side of the story would, you know, I believe in the church and it would exonerate me. So, yes, everything's everything's fine now. I'm, just, I'm very glad to hear that. Just remember, <laughs> the church can always change its mind. That's what I'm worried about. Um, but yeah. we have meetings of people to gather or something. Drinking. Yes, of course. Oh, and actually, I have I have something for you. Um, he's going to hand you a healing potion. Oh. Um, yeah, here's a, here's a potion of healing. Um, you seem to, to need a lot of them. So <laughs> here you go. Yeah, and, well, uh, you know, you can grab them off off of me when you need to feed me one, I guess. Yeah, and uh, and do you know where Hibernite went to? Uh, He's around. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I, I quite wanted to talk to him, so. I need to talk to him, too. Um, okay. I imagine oh, you can talk maybe. to him even now. <laughs> I'm really, really uncomfortably close to each you. Right? <laughs> I'm always here. <laughs> but to, 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 to Margaret, be, Vios is always listening. <laughs> okay. Um, we haven't played that one for a while. Uh, okay, Ebonite, uh up to your old tricks. Okay. <laughs> well, What's life without oh, a little fun. Hibonite, do you remember back in the mountains when I found this? And I'll pull Mother Caldona's necklace in the like outside the church. <laughs> Sure, why not? Okay, okay. Maybe just... that's somewhere less religious to talk about. <laughs> No, remember? I just found this in the mountains. Wink, wink. <laughs> it was in that I'm, tree. I'm going to assume it's like some sort of religious symbol at the same time because it's on the mother, right? I, that's what I'd assume. We're just out, we're outside, though. We're not in the church. It's true. It's true. Okay. Um, I don't know. Maybe yeah, not. I, I, Maybe I, vaguely, I vaguely remember it. That was a bit of a weird day. To say the least. Um, but d- d- could you look at this or should we go somewhere and have somebody else look at it? I can inspect it, but I'm not really a um, finding out exactly what it might do sort of person. I can just give it a quick looky loo sort of thing. Go ahead, then. Uh, give, give me an Arcana check. Uh, that's a can five. I do that as well? 
<laughs> yeah, uh, Garen, if, if you want to as Peek well. over his shoulder. Uh, crit, 28. Okay, so Garen, you know this. Uh, Hibonite, you think it's a pretty piece of jewelry, and you think it's magical. <laughs> <laughs> with, with your five. Um, Garen, with your 28, you'll see it, and given your experience previously with the green robes, you know it very well. Um, this is a item which, as a person is dying, it can take in their soul and then be transferred out of it. You're not sure exactly what it does above and beyond that, but you know it will take their soul. And I'll get you the, the details of how it works. It's a okay. variation on soul jar, okay. Lara. Okay, so a soul jar necklace. Yeah, but it's different. But different. Because it, right, so you don't put your soul jar, you put your, your soul into the, the basically you, you send like your a, soul out and you're able to go into someone else. This is taking somebody else's soul. So um, Soul it, stealing necklace. Got yeah, it. Yeah. yeah. But Garen knows this. I Garen know knows this. this, yeah. Okay. Perhaps you should put that away. Okay. I'll we just... do not want anyone to see that. Noted. Okay. And I will put it back in my pocket. Number 16, by the way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, so, All right. So lunch, or uh, you, you said you needed a sword, Zalara, or? Well, you know, I've had this one for a long time. Maybe there's something better. Of course. <clears throat> sure there's some fine smiths here in town, and find something good i, I okay. have some i have some stuff i could sell as well like some chain mail i've been carrying around for about 40 episodes now <laughs> <laughs> you guys make your way down to the market level um once again with no issue and make your way to a few shops where you sell your items and, and pick up what you're looking for um you guys uh, leave the shops uh, getting what you need selling what you didn't want anymore and you see a man standing up on a dais and he's wearing an extravagant red robe with a white hand in the middle it's a human he's got salt and pepper hair he's standing there and saying do you not see people the love of Olal is on you. Theos himself has brought this one back to life. It is truth through him. And we'll end the episode there. Thanks for listening to episode 50 of Beholder's Eye Ultimatums. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I know I had a lot of fun with it. A lot of good character stuff. And it's always fun when uh, somebody talks to themselves as two different characters. So thanks, Ben. Just thank you guys so much for your support uh, for so many episodes. We, we're, we're so appreciative of all the support that you've given us. And I know that I, I myself and the rest of the crew are very touched at all of you who have followed us. And um, we really appreciate all the messaging on Twitter. And uh, those of you who have joined our Discord, we really, really appreciate that. So if we don't say it enough online, let me say to you now, thank you. If you do enjoy what we do, please leave us a review at Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Play, or whatever podcast app you use. It helps us out immensely. Be sure to check us out on Twitter at Beholders iPod and our website, BeholdersiCast.com. You can follow Ryan, who plays Hibonite, at Duff Duff the Third. Ben, who plays both Garen and Magnar, at Miro 4D2. Give up plays Laura at Mets Girl and Sam, who plays Margraine at Samsalot 007. Thanks, and we'll see you next week. Editing performed by Sam Canary. Filmmusic.io. Zoom Comp Bere. Romeos Herbe by Sasha End. www.sasha-end.de. The Path of the Goblin King, Almost New, Lord of the Land, Gregorian Chant, Malicious, and Our Story Begins All by Kevin McLeod and Competech.com. Licensed under Creative Commons by Attribution 4.0 License, creativecommons.org forward slash license it forward slash buy forward slash 4.0 forward slash zapsplat.com. Felix underscore Bloom underscore in public underscore places underscore church underscore ambience underscore gospel underscore choir underscore rehearsal underscore in underscore background dot zero zero two. That work is licensed under Creative Commons attribution non-commercial share alike 4.0 international license. Creativecommons.org forward slash licenses forward slash buy forward slash 4.0 forward slash rest of the sound effects also by zapsplat.com and you can find them in the show notes.